at the bottom slot, the first set of sampling dyes will be exposed to the powder and the powder will go into the cavities. You close that and now you pull, the, pull only the inner shaft up like this. Now you open at the top slot. Now the second set of dyes would be exposed to the powder and they are exposed at the same spot in the blend. Once you did that, you close the inner shaft and pull the sampler out of the powder and you then, there is a little trick you can use here so that the powder doesn't leak out of the dyes. You see, keep the inner shaft such after you open such that the dyes are facing up. Then you try to move the outer tube like this, okay, like come out like this. So that way your dyes are always facing up and you don't lose any powder into the outer tube. So because there is some clearance between the outer tube and the inner shaft, there is a possibility for some powder to leak into the outer tube. What I suggest that you do if that happens is after each sampling, you just invert the outer tube and empty out any collected powder there before you go for the next sampling. That clearance between the outer shaft and the inner shaft is very important to have. I think it is something like 15 to 20 thousandths of an inch. If we don't have that gap or if we reduce that gap, there would be too much friction between the outer tube and the inner shaft and that could create a generation of metal particles which you don't want to have. That's why we deliberately keep um, a good clearance between these two shafts. Now we have inserted the dies in the inner shaft and the inner shaft is inside the outer shaft and now we are ready to go into the powder blend and take samples. Insert the sampler into the blend. Now you open the inner shaft at the bottom position first that exposes the first set of dies. You close that. Now you pull the inner shaft up. Now you open it at the top location, it will fill the second set of dies. You close. Let us see how the samples look. While you take it out, you may want to turn the sampler so, uh, down so that it, uh, the dies are facing down so excess powder falls down. Then you can turn it around and uh, let us open it here and see how the samples look. So that is how the samples are and uh, let us see the second set of samples, how they look. That's the second set of samples. Um, we will take the sampler out, close it and we will take it to the stand. There is one other suggestion I would like to give you when you take the sampler out of the blend and you try to take the inner shaft out of the uh, outer tube when you are using a triplicate sample design. You know, you just, w once you open the uh, inner shaft, keep this handle in the same position and maneuver the outer tube so that 
your inner shaft will come out, but the dice are always facing up. That way you don't lose any powder by turning the inner shaft back and forth. Now it is model 5 which is a triplicate sample design sampler. And this is an example of the sampler. It has three sample ports. From the outside it does look like a single sample design, but uh, as you have seen in the duplicate sampler, the inner shaft has openings or ports that accept three sample dice in each port. And here we insert three dies. Usually the, the, these ports are a little bit tighter because this, delrin, this inner shaft is made of delrin, which is a white FDA approved plastic material. Some customers want to have a delrin or teflon inner shaft for different reasons like static and things like that. So we custom make these upon customer's request. And you insert the third die also. So now you have all the three dies in the port and now you insert the inner shaft into the outer shaft and go all the way down to the bottom slot here. Now you can see that we are at the bottom slot and the ports are closed. Now we can go into the powder and now we will open the inner shaft at the bottom slot first. So you can see that the first set of dies will be exposed to the powder. You close, pull the inner shaft to the middle slot, open it. Now the second set of dies are exposed to the powder. You close the inner shaft again, pull it up to the top slot, open again. Now the last set of dies are exposed to the powder. Now you close it and then you pull the sampler out of the uh, blend and now you can take the inner shaft out and using the same die retrieval tool you can push each die up and 